So in our previous couple of videos, we talked about creating users and managing users for Microsoft 365. And we did one of them in, or we managed them in two different uh, tools. One of them was the Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and the other one was in Intra. So let's talk about doing groups now. And again, we can manage them in both places. Now, I already have both of them open. So here is my Microsoft 365 Admin Center, and here is my Intra ID from where we're playing with users. So let's start with our Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So I have users right here. I have teams and groups. And I can view on active teams and groups. I can look at policies. I can look at deleted groups. I can look at shared mailboxes. So I'm going to start by creating a new group. And there's three different options. So there's Microsoft Teams and Microsoft 365 groups. There's distribution lists, which are only for email. And then there are security groups, which is something that I can apply actual permissions to. So Microsoft Teams and 365 groups, they're just going to give you a fair amount of options for this particular group. A distribution list, no security, just send an email to this address and it goes to everybody in the list. The security groups I can apply security permissions to, but also notice that I can add a security group. I can also add a mail-enabled security group, which again, same thing, email this address for the group. It goes to everybody that's in the group. Works the same way as a distribution list, except that in the security group, I can also add security permissions. Okay, we're going to start by creating a Microsoft 365 group. So add a team. This is obviously for teams. So I'm going to add a Microsoft 365 group. I'm going to call the group name Hobbits. And then add a description if I want. Click Next. Assign owner. That's the owner has permissions to, and you see right here, add or remove members, delete conversations from shared inbox, change group settings. So I'm going to assign myself as the owner of the group. And then next, I can add members. And since this is Hobbits, I'm going to go ahead and add all three of these. And then that sets my members. And then settings, what's my group email address? So just like with the distribution list or the mail-enabled security group, if you email Hobbits at this domain, it's going to go to all of the hobbits in this group. And then I can set my private uh, privacy. Do I want this to be a private group or a public group? So I want this to be a public group. Role assignments should be enabled only when the group is private. Yeah, if I do private, then I could do uh, role assignments, but I can't add teams to role assignments groups. So that kind of kills that. So I'm going to go ahead and make this a public group. Oh, I can uncheck create a team for this group, and that would allow me, do this private, to allow role assignments. So role assignments, again, is going to be admin type roles. So I don't want to do that. I do want to make it a public group. I do not want to create a team for it. So I'm going to click Next. If I was using Teams with this group, then yes, I'd create a team for it. Edit all of my settings. I'm happy with it, so I click Create Group. And that creates my Hobbits group. So I'm going to click Close. And here is my Hobbits group with their email address. And then I'll edit it just by clicking on it and making whatever changes that I want. Change the email, change the membership, change the settings. And if I go into my users now, so let me go to users, active users, and I'm going to open up Frodo Baggins. So if I want to manage, let me see if I can find their groups right here. They're part of the Hobbits group. And if I want to manage the groups there, and I can do it here. So I can either go to the group and manage membership, or I can go to the user and manage groups. So two different ways to accomplish the same task. Okay, that was all there was to create a basic Microsoft 365 group. Now, I can do the same thing, or very similar things, let me put it that way, in Intra, where I can go to Groups, look at all of my groups, and here I should see my Hobbits group. Okay, perfect. And I can create a new group, and I can also edit properties here. So click on it, 
view by direct members, users, groups, devices, group membership, group owners. So properties of the group, anything I want to do to manage the group. Go back to groups, and I'm going to create a new group. And for this one, I get to select the group type here. Now, notice this one does not have Microsoft or does not have a distribution list. That's only in the um, Microsoft 365 Admin Center. But I can create a Microsoft 365 group. And for this one, I want to do one for ring bearers. There's my group email address, automatically populated, description if I want, membership type, let me select my the uh, group sensitivity labels, classify and protect Microsoft 365 groups. My membership type, notice um, this isn't giving me the option to change it right now. So you have to have something specific in order to be able to create a dynamic uh, group. So I'm going to set an odor, uh, owner, there we go, <laughs> select myself as the owner. And then for my members, I'm going to leave Sam out of this because he only bore the ring for a little while. So I'm going to add Frodo and Bilbo and click, click select. Okay, and then I am going to create. Now notice this did not have the Teams integration and does not have the distribution list. Okay. So we've now managed both users and groups. Oh, let me refresh this so we can see our new group as well. We've now managed both users and groups in Microsoft 365 and uh, Admin Center and in Intra. Remember, the Microsoft 365 has more uh, Admin Center. There we go. Has more options that are specific to your Microsoft 365 functionality that might not show up in Intra. But the users you create in the Microsoft 3, users and groups that you can create in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center also show up in Intra ID because that's technically where they're actually stored. The 365 Admin Center is just a different interface to get to the same users and groups. Okay, hope that's helpful, and I hope that amongst these three videos, we've given you an idea of how you can manage users and groups in for Microsoft 365 in both the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and in the Entra Admin Center.